Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to learn an important part of speech where we often make mistakes that is prepositions. So grab your virtual seats and let's get started. To understand prepositions let's quickly revise the term nouns. Now what is a noun? A noun tells us more about a person place animal or thing let us quickly try to understand what are the different parts of a sentence in this sentence the and a are articles girl and bike in yellow are nouns rides is a verb it is showing us the action that is being done and what is the description of the bike it is a red bike so therefore red becomes an adjective now taking a cue from the example that i just gave you some time back about the girl rides a red bike let us try to understand what is a preposition from the very word itself if you break it up it means preposition therefore a preposition is a word that shows the relationship between a noun and a pronoun and some other word in a sentence now having understood the definition of preposition let us look at it in the form of an example the baby is on the bed in this sentence the are articles baby and bed in blue are nouns is is a verb and the word which is connecting these two ideas the position of it is preposition the word on highlighted in red for you let us solve one more example tom is at the concert here the words tom and concert are names of things so or the name of a person so it becomes noun is is the helping verb over here the is an article and what is it that is connecting these two parts of the sentence together the word at and therefore it becomes a preposition so having understood a general idea of what is a preposition now let's delve into the different types of prepositions broadly there are three types into which you can categorize prepositions preposition of time place and movement or direction let us now have a look at the preposition of place or position now the preposition of place or position describes the position of a person or a thing in relation to another person or thing here you see the book is on the table whenever you see an object coming in direct contact with another object the book is an object the table is an object and it is coming in contact with the table therefore we use the preposition on similarly another way in which you could describe the preposition of place is you see from the position of the apple the apple is where it is placed under the table
Now preposition of time allows us to discuss a specific a particular time period. Let's look at the examples. What is it? A date on the calendar, one day of the week, actual time when something takes place. These are the three categories where we use the preposition of time. At is used for a precise or an exact time when you are exactly able to state the time when an action is going to take place has taken place or is taking place that is in the past present or future then we use the preposition at example at nine o'clock at bedtime The preposition on is often used for the days of the week in the calendar. We use on for specific or particular dates when you are sure about a date, an exact date when something will happen. Example, the students have a test when? On 1st October. We use the preposition in for a specific time of the day. That is in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Let us now have a look at the preposition of direction. The ball rolled towards the box. The ball rolled around the box. Here from the direction of the ball, we could say the ball passed over the box. A compound preposition is one that contains two or more prepositional words, for example, the car is parked in front of the house. Here, in front of, three words are there individually which are acting as prepositions here. Therefore, it becomes an example of a compound preposition. Another example of compound preposition could be The dog is sitting next to the owner. Here the words next to become examples of compound preposition.
So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.